So here we are <clears throat> with a brief tutorial on how to use GoToMeeting. Basically, we just launch this. It opens up this window. From here, you can schedule a meeting, or you can just choose to meet now, or you can join a meeting that's already in progress. So what I want to do is I want to first do a scheduled meeting. So I click on Scheduled Meeting. It logs me in. I say, OK. Uh, it actually may ask for a uh, username and password, uh, in which case you'd provide that and you should know that information. We're going to call this one um, NCAF uh, Board Meeting. And we choose a date, let's say December 5th and at 7 p.m. Okay? And then we want to choose, provide audio information. Uh, we want to provide both so that people can call in or they can uh, just use their computer speakers. Do we want to use a password? In this case, no. I'm just going to click on Schedule. And then it puts it into my list. And it opens up my, my email program and fills this information in. Now, I don't want to use my email program. I want to send out my emails via... Uh, my Gmail, so I'm not going to use this. I'm just going to quit that email program altogether and close out of that. So now what I can do is I can see here in my meetings, I can see that we have that NCAP board meeting uh, and we can choose to invite. Again, we don't really want to do that. So what I like to do is I like to go here and at the time that the meeting is going to start, or a few minutes beforehand, I will actually go ahead and just pick on um, my meetings, and then I will double click this and hit start, or double click it either way, which will then start this meeting, which brings up my go to meeting to control panel. Meeting. Online meetings made easy. And from here, first we have to wait till that annoying message stops. From here, what we can do is we can actually go here and click on this invite others. And that opens up this box that says, here's the meeting information. I can copy that to the clipboard. I can then go to my email and I can compose an in, a new email and I can send it to whoever I want, let's say the board of directors, and we can say paste. And what I've just done is I've pasted in the information about the meeting, including the link, which is the most important part, because really all of this other stuff is unnecessary, especially this part where it's just an ad for GoToMeeting. So this, when you send it, will automatically become a link, but you can click on the little link icon to make it a link. When you send this out, which I'm not going to actually do right now, but when you send it out, it will send people the link, which then, when they click it, will allow them to go ahead and start downloading the little application and joining the meeting, and it'll give them instructions, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Hope that works. Bye-bye.